Hey, it's Roger. Roger, thanks for watching. I wanted to talk about fibromyalgia, the the huge epidemic of fibromyalgia, which is going around the world today. Now, fibromyalgia is really it's it's a it's a it's a term for a physiological state where the body, the muscles in the body, are experiencing pain. It's like a numbing, chronic pain, which just goes on and on and on. And there are very there are quite a few alternative remedies as well as uh, medication and stuff that, you know, mainstream medication, allopathic medicine that people can use for their fibromyalgia. I want to talk for a moment about the reptilian brain and survival emotions and traumatic memories and how they contribute to a person's diagnosis of fibromyalgia. And, and, and again, point to possible solutions in working with me, how I can help you work through traumatic memories, triggers, your, envi your environment and your survival emotions in order to neutralize as much as possible this reptilian brain and hence neutralize the triggers and the contributors, and the causes of your your fibromyalgia, and to assist you to becoming you know, you know to becoming pain free. That that's the end goal and that's the objective in what I do with any of my program of therapy that I do, and and so let's just talk about the two brains. So we have the neocortex, which is a highly evolved uh, analytical brain. It's a high thinking, highly creative brain, and then we have the reptilian brain, which is our fight, flight, freeze response brain it's it's about defending ourselves from attack protecting us putting um keeping us alive survival brain it's a reptilian it's a reactive brain have you ever noticed that sometimes you may be responding very emotionally to something and you, someone might trigger or something in the environment that may trigger you to respond emotionally and you think about it afterwards you go what was i doing what was i thinking how could i be like that but that was your neocortex thinking after the fact so what happened was your reptilian brain was fired up you were acting in response to the um the trigger in the environment or from another person and that caused your reptilian brain to fire up now the reptilian brain has a function it's it's, it's a survival brain it protects us from threats it, it helps us uh, defend ourselves, helps us run uh, from attackers. It helps us freeze to let attackers go past and not be a threat. That's how our reptilian brain functions. The problem is, is if the reptilian brain is firing too much, it, it causes us to get tired. We feel run down. We feel worn out. Our muscles begin to ache. Uh, we become fatigued. Our immune system breaks, uh, it's not doing its job, so our body begins, our organs begin to break down, our cells begin to break down, our cells are not replaced, uh, as you know, normally what would happen with the immune system firing uh, when we're in a place of relaxation and tranquility, serenity and healing. So what triggers the reptilian brain? People, people can trigger our reptilian brain in the environment, uh, people from the past, the present, and People, places can trigger the, our, our reptilian brain. So if we go into a stressful place, uh, a place where there's a lot of stress, that can trigger us to go into our activate our reptilian brain, which is going to activate the triggers of the fibromyalgia. Memories can trigger uh, our reptilian brain. So if you have a memory, so if you think of something and then it triggers a memory of something that happened in the past, someone who hurt you, you know, something, a bad experience that happened, that's going to trigger your reptilian brain for you to go into fight, flight, freeze mode and it's going to activate, start contributing to that survival mechanism where your body is in survival and you're going to trigger that pain, that, that fibromyalgia pain response. Traumatic memories, this is the key to healing fibromyalgia to, to, to getting, you know, uh, you know, maybe you could, you could work solely on your traumatic memories and you could maybe get 50% um, you know, a healing in your, in your fibromyalgia. I mean, which mean, which I mean, you know, roughly you could sort of minimize the symptoms, the occurrence of the symptoms by about 50% by simply working through or more by working through your traumatic memories from the past. Now, the thing about traumatic memories is sometimes they're suppressed because they may have occurred when we were in the womb, when we we're two years old, when we we're three years old, when we we're five years old. Our brain is still developing and sometimes we can have shocking traumatic memory, traumatic things in our life. And then what happens is our unconscious mind, because our brain is still developing, our unconscious mind suppresses it the information, the event, the experience immediately. So we forget about it, but it's still there behind the scenes, behind the curtain, pulling our strings. And whenever we encounter triggers in the environment, people, places, and things, we have memories that remind us in a some way of the traumatic memory. It's going to trigger our reptilian mind to go into fight, flight, freeze, survival mode. Now, the environment that you live in, uh, your relationships that you're in, if there's a lot of conflict in your relationships. If you're in an environment that is very stressful, uh, that is going to trigger your reptilian brain to go into overdrive and that is going to which obviously is going to contribute to your fibromyalgia survival emotions now there's a lot of these uh, fear guilt anger sadness grief fury rage 
uh, the list goes on. There's over 30 survival emotions that I like to work through when I work with people. These are emotions that are stored in the body and they get triggered. Uh, there. It's like through a lifetime of experiences, you had your traumatic memories, traumatic experiences, they contribute to having these survival emotions that are built into your body. So if I would ask you, on a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is intense, 1 is nothing, I want you to just think of the think of anger, the emotion of anger, and rate yourself on a scale of 0 to 10 for anger. Now, you might not be angry at all, but you're going to come up with a number, and it may be between 2 and 10. And some people who are very angry may say, well, I'm 8. I'm an 8 anger, or I'm a 9 anger, or I'm a 10 anger. Some people may say, I'm a 5 anger. So where's that come from? You're not angry, but it's like that anger is a program. It's It's an emotion that's that's bubbling beneath the surface. It's always on, you know, it's always on and it's always, uh, so what we want to do is shut that down to a zero and that, and that, that is something I do, something unique to what I do. It's my own intellectual property. And I studied really hard and worked really hard to get to this place where we can shut down survival emotions. But what seven to reset so you can press reset and they're not triggering your reptilian brain, which is contributing, triggering your fibromyalgia symptoms. So that's what I do with my survival emotions and I can, I can do that in my program. And I like to allow six months to work with someone who's if you've got fibromyalgia because simply because we can work quite rapidly through traumatic memories. And but however, then we've got to work through the, the your, your relationships, your home environment, your interaction, the way you interact with people, the and and get rid of those triggers. And that can take time because obviously you're responding to what's happening in the environment. And you may make the need to make decisions about moving on to a better, a better relationship or working on your own relationship um, and the conflict within there to minimise that. And that takes a lot of work. And then there's obviously your home environment, making that a better place, a more inspiring, empowering place, which triggers you into more higher emotions like gratitude and peace and serenity and love and trust on a daily basis. And obviously, you know, neutralizing these emotions, that's a quite a long process. And so what happens is by working through these, so if we get through, get through where there's no triggers, get to the point in your life where there's no triggers, there's no traumatic memories, because it is possible, your environment is awesome and your relationships are, con are conducive to your health and ha happiness and well-being and success, and you haven't got these survival emotions, we press reset on this, you're not going to have fibromyalgia. You're not going to have that condition anymore because that condition, those symptoms which we label fibromyalgia, were contingent on you having all of this in your unconscious mind or all of this in your body. And when those aren't there, you're not going to have fibromyalgia anymore. But what can happen is, is if you place yourself back in traumatic, uh, stressful environments, if you place, have experiences which are traumatic and you create new triggers and then you start, you know, obviously be interacting with this world today. There's so much negativity in the news and media, uh, whatever's going on, that can start to increase. So we can send these survival emotions to zero, but what's going to happen? They're going to start ratcheting up one, two, three. Over time, they're not probably not going to be as high as they were before, but they're just going to start increasing. And I know myself, I cleared my survival emotions uh, about three months ago, and I set them all to zero. And then what I noticed was that many of them stayed at zero. Some of them started creeping up to one or two. It was just basically on the environment that I was a part of where I live, uh, you know, things that you go through in your life and your family relationships, things like that. It started to ratchet up those, those, those emotions. And I just, what I did was I went through them again and then turned them off. So I show you how to turn them off to go through every three months or six months or even once a year and just make sure those survival emotions are not operating. Um, they're reset and you, you're not triggering your reptilian brain. And what happens is, is people have, re have reported once they've worked through all these traumatic memories and survival emotions that they're able to respond in the presence with the right amount of emotion, the right right response, the right time to protect themselves. So, and it's and you know, it's just a fabulous, fabulous thing to be able to respond naturally and normally, not being a nice person, but being a firm person with firm boundaries, uh, and to be able to defend yourself in a way that empowers you, empowers the person that is you know maybe breaching your boundaries. And and that's so that's what I do. It's just a wonderful, wonderful process to go through this program with me and at the end of it I believe your fibromyalgia will be gone um, and and because these these triggers are not there anymore there in my view there's nothing wrong with your body our body ha is a self sustaining system it knows how to heal it knows how to work it's just that the pain response from your fibromyalgia what we label as fibromyalgia and those symptoms is simply your unconscious mind because you've had so many traumatic memories if your unconscious mind is triggering the reptil your reptilian your reptilian brain is being triggered into fight flight free survival mode in order to protect you but because they're just memories it's still making you putting you on a war footing on an antagonistic footing 
for life and it's just breaking your body down. It's not a good place to be because that reptilian brain has a place, but it's not meant to be going, you know, 24 hours a day, every day. It will break your body down and cause you to have experienced pain and even other diseases and illnesses, which I believe will come from this overactive, from this stuff, you know, stuff like cancer, Crohn's disease, fibromyalgia, gout, arthritis. These come from these emotional triggers, but once they work through, once they're cleared, once they're reset, set to zero, then we, we come back to like, you know,